Michelle, you've had it pretty easy around here. I like it, Tia. Well, things are about to change. The truth is, Michelle, you're very, very special to me because you're my last little baby. And I guess, in a way, I wanted you to stay that way. But I gotta face it, you're a big girl now. So if you do something wrong, you're old enough to be punished. Is it over now? No, listening to me talk is not punishment. <laughs> Although it does seem to help you go to sleep. <laughs> Honey, I just want you to know I'm only doing this because I love you. I love you, Daddy. Oh, wait a minute. My shoe is wet. Okay. My shoe is wet. My shoe is wet. My shoe is wet. Michelle? Yes, Daddy? Are you ready to be a good girl now? I'll be a very good girl. Good. And did you learn a lesson from all of this? Yes, I did. No swimming in the kitchen. Yes, no swimming in the kitchen. That's a very important lesson. But there's a bigger lesson here. Daddy, Uncle Jesse, and Joey, we know what's best for you. So, honey, when we ask you to do something, you should do it. Deal? You're the boss. Okay, then. Punishment is over. Time to play. <laughs> no, it's not. Time for bed. Can we watch our senior? What do you think? I think it's time for bed. You think right. It's time for bed. Too bad, I said. Daddy, am I still your little princess? Oh, you got it, dude. <laughs> Michelle, I didn't mean to break up your game. I'm a crummy boy. That's because you're a girl. Why are you trying to be a boy? Because Teddy doesn't want to play with girls anymore. Oh, so that's what's going on here. Look, sweetheart, I know you feel bad about this, but you got to understand, Teddy is just going through a stage right now. What's a stage? Well, a stage is when you go through something and then eventually you grow out of it. You once went through a stage where you didn't like chocolate cake. No way. It only lasted 10 minutes, but uh, you get the idea. Teddy right now is going through his I don't want to play with girls stage. I don't like this stage. Oh, I know. But don't you worry. Before you know it, all the boys are going to want to play with you all the time. And that's when I go through my keep away from my daughter stage. I just want my best friend back. Sweetheart, if he's really your best friend, he'll come back around. Because real friends like you for who you are. Who am I? Who are you? You are Michelle Tanner. You are one terrific person. You're sweet. You're funny. You're friendly. You're kind. Keep going. <laughs> I could go on forever. You always do. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I never see you anymore. Is that because you're the spatula of the mom? <laughs> Eat your dessert, Teddy. <laughs> Michelle, how could you say you never see me anymore? I see you every morning, and I told you a bedtime story tonight. Before dinner doesn't count. You don't tuck me in anymore. Sweetheart, if I'm not able to tuck you in for some reason, there's always someone else there to tuck you in. It's not the same. You do the best tugboat. Actually, she has a point there. I, I do one heck of a toot toot. <laughs> but that does not excuse you from leaving the house and sneaking into my car. Am I in big trouble? Well, actually, it's not all your fault. I should have talked to you about this whole dating thing before I started going out every night. I know how important it is to you that I tuck you in. It's important to me, too. I love our special times together. I'll tell you what. Why don't you and I 
make a special date tomorrow night at your bedtime for me to tuck you in. What do you say? Is it a date? It's a date. I love you, honey. I love you, Daddy. Michelle? I'm sorry you feel sad, honey. Why won't you marry me? Honey, you're six years old. <laughs> you're too young to get married. But I love Steve. Look, I, I know you do. But it's not the same kind of love that grown-ups feel when they get married. I hate being a little kid. I can't stay up late. I can't cross the street. I can't get married. <laughs> oh, honey. I know how you feel. It's tough being a kid. And sometimes people forget how little kids have feelings. And right now, you're, what you're feeling is a broken heart. Can you fix it? I'll try. But you got to understand, see, Steve is DJ's boyfriend. She loves him, and he loves her. It's still broken. Come here, honey. Look, one day, you'll be all grown up. And you'll have a boyfriend. And then you'll fall in love. And then when you're older than that, much, 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 much older than that, <laughs> you'll get married. And you'll get married because you want to spend all your time with that person. I don't want to wait. Yeah, but there's something great about waiting for the person that you love. What? Well, in the meantime, you get to be with all the people that you love. You know, your family. And we're going to make sure that you have lots of fun and lots of hugs and lots of kisses. I think my heart is feeling better. Oh, that's my girl. I love you so much. Michelle. Why did you fully have to die? It's not fair. I know. It's a part of life, sweetie. And Bapuli led a long and full life. It makes me so mad. It's okay to feel mad. You lost somebody that you love. But we're a family, right? So we're gonna help pull each other through this, okay? Okay. Anything you want to ask me? No. Okay, well, if you do, I'm here for you. So if you have any questions about what you're feeling or about what happened, you just come talk to me, okay? Okay. What? What did we forget? Me! <laughs> really? You mean you want to come back and live with us? Even with Uncle Tattletail? Yes, I want to go home. Oh, man. Thanks for helping me down, Daddy. You're welcome. And I kind of remember telling you not to climb up there in the first place. But you said I was a big girl. I thought I could decide for myself. Yeah, well, part of being a big girl is knowing whether what you're doing is dangerous or not. I didn't know that part. I think it's going to take a little while for both of us to get used to you being a big girl. We'll help each other. It's a deal. You, you didn't have to kiss me in front of all your friends. I know, but I wanted to. I'm a big girl. It was my decision. I can live with that. Okay, second show's over. Nothing more to see here. <laughs> Michelle, can you hear me, honey? Honey? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Daddy. I think we have to talk. I think we better. I'm sorry you went to so much trouble today. I wish I had a mommy. 
Well, I know you don't remember, but you had a wonderful mommy. And she loved you very, very much. It's not fair all the other kids have mommies. Well, I know it might seem like everybody else has a mommy. But, honey, the truth is, some people just have a mommy. Or they just have a daddy, or a grandma, or a grandpa, or an aunt and uncle. There's all different kinds of families. Really? Yeah. What makes a family is when you have people who take care of one another and love each other. You have a very special family. You have a daddy, and an Uncle Jesse, and an Aunt Becky, and a Joey. I bet nobody in school has a Joey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty safe bet. <laughs> so you see, in a way, you and your sisters, you're pretty lucky because you have four people who care about you and love you very, very much. I love you very, very much. I love you too. Come on, let's go have lunch with your teacher, okay? Will I ever get a new mommy? Well, I hope so. Have you met the school nurse? She's very hot. <laughs> really? How could I forget you guys from my family? You don't know how happy I am to hear you say it. Michelle? Michelle, honey, wake up. Have you seen Uncle Jesse? No, good morning, Michelle. I'm sorry. Good morning, Michelle. Now, have you seen Uncle Jesse? No, good morning, kid. What was I thinking? There. Now, have you seen Uncle Jesse? No, but thank you for asking. I knew she was setting me up. Good night noises everywhere. That was beautiful. <laughs> thank you. There'll be another performance tomorrow night. Same time, same chair. Me and Glenn will be there. Honey, let's talk about Glenn for a second. You know, it's fun to have a Glenn, or a pretend duck like Norton, or my best friend when I was a kid, Terry the Talking Washcloth. <laughs> but what is it you like about Glenn? He's my friend. My other friends are gone. Oh, because preschool just ended. Oh, so that's why Glenn just showed up. Yeah, but don't worry. Next week, you start kitty camp, and you're going to meet all kinds of new friends. Really? Yeah, really. And if you want to, you can take Glenn with you. That's OK. He talks too much. Sorry, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Michelle. I love you, Daddy. But you can't just memorize what I read to you every night. Why not? Because it'll start to catch up with you around college. <laughs> Let's start off, sweetheart, by learning the sound of each letter, okay? Like A is for... Apple. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I... I can spell alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and D. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well, the word alphabet's in there someplace. Stop it! It's not funny! Yeah, it's okay, honey. It's okay. No! You tried harder than anyone to help me. Your shirt got all ripped and got all dirty. I think you're the best dad in the whole world. Oh, thank you. Dad, if you want to marry Claire, you can. Michelle, it's our second date. If I ever decide to marry Claire or anybody else, I promise you, nobody's coming into this family unless we love them and they love all of us, all right? Okay. Love you. You see, Michelle, your, your own imagination or sheer ignorance <laughs> can make things seem a lot worse than they really are. I guess my feet aren't that bad when they're not all pruny. Believe me, honey. You are a beautiful, normal child, and you are going to grow up to be a beautiful, normal adult. You promise? I promise. 
I put out the napkins. <laughs> I like being your little princess. Oh, I like it too, honey. Michelle, you'll tell your sisters for me, won't you? Oh, uh, thank you, honey. Take all the pressure off. Give me a kiss. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> My daddy was the best talk show host in the whole world. Everyone loved him. He was funny and nice, and he made people choke on their bear claws. I wish my daddy were still a talk show host, and so does everyone else. Thanks, honey. That helps a lot.